Let us pray. To nourish by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Please stay after the Mass for a pre Lent talk by Sis Risa Singson Kaupeng and Brother Randy Borromeo. Powerful worship follows. Let your children experience learning while having fun. And trust them to the kids' ministry while you listen to the talk right after the Mass. Look for Liz, Jang, Trishan, or Isa at the reception area outside this venue. May we request those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries for the month of March to please come forward to receive a special blessing from Father Rex. pray. Loving uh, Father, we humbly praise and thank you for the gift of life and love. We are happy to celebrate the birthday and pray for our brothers and sisters 
who celebrate their birthday and uh, wedding anniversary. And uh, surround them with your grace and always accompany them with your loving protection and provision as they journey in this uh, world. And uh, Lord God, make them instruments of bringing healing, mercy, compassion to others. And uh, give them good health, happiness, peace of souls, and many more years of celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. And all of them please in your sight, in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And lastly, let us all thank Father Rex Armenia for celebrating the Holy Mass with us. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you. And in his kindness, pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The offer the Eucharist, go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Good morning, Pistora. Come on, we invite you to stand. We're going to praise God today. Come on, let's stand. Can I see a raise of hands of those who are ready to praise and worship Jesus? Come on. Come on. We're the people of praise. And we are here today to thank Jesus for being so faithful and for being so good. Amen. Come on, Jesus has been so faithful to us. And so I want to, I want to hear your voice to give Him praise. All right? Come on, give Him praise today. Come on, give Him your loudest shout of praise. Come on. Come on, if you're faithful, give Jesus your loudest shout of praise. Come on. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, God has given us His life so that we come, we become alive in His name. Amen. And we're going to sing about that love today. Come on. Put your hands up. Come on.
thank you God and we praise your name in this place because you deserve it we just want to thank you Jesus for your presence for being with us tonight and we know deep in our hearts that you are touching our lives again and so we thank you Jesus for your never-ending grace that you gave your life for us thank you Jesus for saving us may I share a word for you to do, uh, with you today uh, it says in Psalm 66 if I may I, I don't memorize the word so allow me to sing it it says in Psalm 66 shout for joy to God all the earth and sing the glory of his name and make his glorious praise and say to God how awesome are your deeds so great is your power it says so great is your power all the earth bows down to your name and they and they sing praise to you and they sing the praise of your name so come and see what God has done his awesome deeds for mankind come let us rejoice in him he rules forever by his power and praise our God all peoples and let the sound of his praise be heard and that is what we're gonna do tonight we're gonna make our praise be heard by the heavens until the enemy goes away because Jesus deserves our praise amen come on if we're thankful let's come before the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come on raise your hands to Jesus Father we praise you and we worship your name God you're so good so faithful come on we we'll sing together the name of the Lord our God. Oh, praise His name forevermore. For endless days we will sing Your praise. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord our God. Amen. Jesus bled and died for me. I see his wounds, his hand, his feet, my Savior on that cursed tree. Come on, this is the greatest story ever told. We sing it out. His body bound and drenched in. Come on, lift your hands and sing your praise today. Come on, come on. Oh, praise the name of the Lord our God. Oh, praise His name forevermore. For endless days we will sing your praise, oh Lord. Come on. Then on the earth, I pray.
of white The blazing sun Shall pierce the night And I will rise Among the saints Come on By grace transfixed On Jesus' face Come on, as one family We sing it out together, come on He shall be dead. Come on in robes of white, the blazing sun shall be the night, and I will rise among the stars. My gaze transfixed on Jesus' face. Come on, don't quit. for bringing us into God's presence. I'm excited. Ask me why. Because we're starting a new month and we're starting a new series very soon. And we're starting a new season. I'm the kind of person who's excited about new things. May mga tao na uh, hindi sila masyadong excited pag may mga changes. But I'm not one of those persons. I like um, new things happening. And uh, tonight is no different because we're gonna be starting our 40-day retreat very soon in the Catholic Church. Do you realize that um, that's why we have seasons? We have liturgical seasons in the Catholic Church. And if you follow the life of the Catholic Church, ang ganda talaga, it's really designed to bring us closer to God. So, dati, nung uh, hindi pa ako uh, charismatic, um, and hindi ko pa, wala pa akong personal relationship with the Lord, every time this time of the year rolls in, lum, nalulungkot ako. Kasi ang ibig, sabihin, ang ibig sabihin sa akin ng Lent is, ay nako, fasting na naman. Ay nako, abstinence na naman. Ay nako, ang init-init na naman. Kasi palaging tumatao ng ang, uh, Lenten season, lalo na Holy Week, di ba? Doon sa pinakamainit na time of the year, dito at least here in the Philippines. And 
It's also the time na, ewan ko, kasi yung mga iba sa inyo, uh, yung mga millennials, yung mga mas bata, di ba? Hindi na siguro naabutan yung, yung naabutan namin ni Randy at ni Tessa. Pero nung panahon namin, at saka ni Mo, at saka nang nandama, hindi, hindi mo panahon, no? mas, li, mas late ka pa eh, di ba? Okay. <laughs> kasi sa pag Holy Week, walang palabas sa TV, di ba? Kung hindi, Ten Commandments, walang kamatayang Ten Commandments, di ba? Palaging yun at yun. Tapos, ilan lang yung channel sa TV. Naabutan ko na lima eh. Pero nung panahon ni Mon, Mon, tatlo lang ba channel nung panahon mo? <laughs> so, pag yung limang channel na yun, nakapatay yun. Wala, walang palabas. Tapos, if ever may palabas, yun nga. Ten Commandments na naman. Diba? So, so, talagang for me, malungkot na panahon siya. Pero now that I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning more about the Lord and I've made my faith something very personal to me, the more I realize that this time is a beautiful time. Alam nyo, hindi natin masyadong ma-appreciate yung seasons. Season sa panahon. Kasi sa Pilipinas, dalawa lang ang panahon eh, diba? Either hot or hotter, diba? Or dry and wet or wetter tatlo tatlo kung gusto niyo di ba pero pag pumunta kayo sa mga ibang bansa like diyan lang sa Korea sa Japan they have four seasons and every every time the season changes meron siyang dalang bago may dalang newness and this time lent um, coincides with spring so kung mapapansin niyo di ba Winter sa Pilipinas, di ba? This past few months. Napansin nyo ba sa umaga ang lamig? Di ba? Nalalabas natin yung mga jacket natin, di ba? Mga scarf natin, nagagamit natin. Di ba? Pero ngayon, painit na. And um, spring is coming. Kaya yung Lent, uh, yung salitang Lent, galing yan sa word, uh, German word, I think, or Old English word, that means springtime. And if you come from a country that has four seasons, imagine the dead of winter, yung lamig, yung lamig ng... My cousin was in Korea last um, December, and the, the weather there, the temperature there, that was negative 13 degrees. Talagang hindi na halos silang makalabas dahil sa sobrang lamig. So imagine mo that, that really, really cold time, that time of death, Kasi walang tumutubo, walang mga dahon sa, sa mga um, puno. Diba? That time of death now gives way to life. Slowly, you know, the, the snow is melting and then the, the leaves are starting to turn green again and new life is springing up. That's the, that's the reason why Lent is also during this time of the year, during springtime. And um, Lent always starts with Ash Wednesday, and that's gonna be itong Wednesday na. Yeah, it's already this Wednesday. Ang bilis, no? So that's the start of our 40-day retreat uh, in the Catholic Church. And, you know, just as a, as a trivia, yung 40 days, you count it from um, uh, Ash Wednesday up to, hanggang saan ba? Up to Easter Sunday, pero minus all the Sundays in between. That makes 40 that makes 40 days. Bakit hindi binibilang yung um, Sundays? Because every Sunday is a mini Easter. So, that's how you count it. And in those 40 days, you know, 40 is a very significant number in the Bible. It appears 146 times in the Bible. Grabe, no? Hindi ako nagbilang nun. Nabasa ko lang. <laughs> and, it, uh, and, and the meaning, you know, 40, like, um, you know, uh, Noah. Remember Noah? Uh, was uh, in the ark for 40 days. There was a flood that wiped out um, the, the, the whole earth. Sila lang yung nabuhay, all the people in the ark. Kasi 40 represents purification. When you see 40, most of the time, it, it represents purification. The Israelites, when they got out of Egypt and they crossed through the, the desert into the promised land, that was a, just a two-week trip dapat, kahit na on foot. But it took them 40 years. Imagine of going around in the desert. 40 years. Because during that time, um, they were being purified as a nation before they entered the promised land. And then, uh, you know, the superheroes in the Bible. Ay, nako, diba? Uh, when, when they uh, want to talk to God, yung masinsinan, 40 days. Diba? Like um, uh, Moses. 
Moses was up on Mount Sinai for 40 days and then he went down with the two tablets of the Ten Commandments. Remember that in the book of Exodus? 40 days he spent there in Mount Sinai. Elijah also, um, Mount Horeb, um, was in Mount Horeb. Actually, if you, if you research, I've researched this, Mount Sinai and Mount Horeb is actually the same mountain. It's the same place. And if I'm not mistaken, it's also where the Temple of Jerusalem is stands, you know, that the, the, where the temple, they, they built the temple there on uh, Mount Horeb because it's really a holy place. It's a place where they encounter God. Um, and then, of course, Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights before the start of his ministry. And this is just a trivia. Um, I, I, re I, I listened to a, a medical lecture of a, a scientist who, who's, who's studying the ketogenic diet. And um, they're, they're studying this uh, as a therapy, you know, for therapeutic purposes to cure cancer. And he, they, they, dis they discovered that after, when you fast, when you go on prolonged fasting, um, it's kind of technical, but um, our brain supposed to be, supposedly thrives on glucose, but after days of um, continued fasting, the, the ketones, which is the, the cleaner fuel, sorry, ah, nagiging technical ba ako? Alam ko may mga doktor dyan eh. Ah, may mga taga St. Luke's time. You know, the, the ketones, which is a better fuel than glucose or carb, carbs, um, starts to penetrate the, the blood-brain barrier and in, in the brain, and you, you start to function, your brain starts to function so well. So when I was li listening to that um, lecture, I said, wow, no wonder even Jesus, um, he did, he, he fasted. Kala natin, he fasted spiritually um, so that he would be spiritually prepared, but it was also a physical preparation. So this time of fasting, this season of fasting, let's use that because this is a time that Jesus wants to draw us, not just spiritually closer to him, but also to make us healthy in body. So, um, I'm so excited. Napansin nyo? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's pray our favorite prayer here at the feast because our one big message for tonight is that we should come to Jesus as we are. Can you say that with me? Come as you are. Amen. So are you ready for our chat with God for 40 days? Amen? Okay, let's pray our favorite prayer here at the feast. And together we say today... I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I'm blessing the world in Jesus' name name. Amen. And we honor God's word as we sing. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And our word today comes from the book of Mark. Mark 1 verse 40 to 41. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees, begged Jesus on his knees, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand and touched the man. I'm willing, he said. Be clean. At once, the deceased left the man and he was clean. Why are we talking about a healing story during Lent? And why this, this specific story? It's because all of us are lepers in spirit amen because of our sin because of our uh, our failures because we we turn away from god and our sins keep us away from the lord tama hindi pa mas mas nahihiya tayong lumapit sa isang tao pag may atraso tayo tama and ganun din tayo kay lord ganun din tayo kay lord so that's why the, our one big message is 
you know, come as you are. This season of Lent, it's a, a we want to um, celebrate. It, it, it's a time for us to enter into the healing power between heaven and earth. As we come to Jesus, Jesus will do to us as He did to this leprous person. And um, if you study, you know, if you if you study this this scene, it it's so scandalous for a leper to approach a non-leprous person. Uh, and yung kung kung titingnan natin dito sa dito sa uh, Leviticus 13. I'm just going to go ahead and finish my part and we're going to sing thy word after. Um, in Le- Leviticus 13:46, can we go there? Sabi dito, anyone with such a defiling disease meaning leprosy, must wear torn clothes, let their hair be unkempt, cover the lower part of their face, and cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as they have the disease, they remain unclean. They must live alone, and they must live outside the camp. This is the life of a leper. Hindi siya pwedeng pumunta ng feast sa ora. Nakatira sila sa labas ng city. They cannot mingle with healthy people. Why? Because they believe at that time that leprosy was a curse. It wasn't just a physical curse. It was a spiritual curse. You're cursed because of your sin. You have leprosy because may ginawa kang masama. May ginawa kang mali sa Diyos. And so, this is the this is the reason why lepers were, ano talaga, hindi sila, hindi mo sila pwedeng hawakan at hindi lang sila pwede luma, lumapit sa, sa'yo. So, for a leper to come to Jesus and kneel down before Him, He was, He was violating so many laws. He was violating so many norms in society. He was changing, He was doing something very revolutionary and very radical. So it wasn't just for quarantine purposes. They, alam nyo, yung mga lepers, ang sabi dun sa Talmud or their, the, the, the Jewish, um, the, the rabbinic teaching, they had to maintain a certain distance, a minimum distance of four cubits from a healthy person, which is around six feet. Six feet. Pero, kung walang hangin yun, pag mahangin, Hindi pwedeng six feet lang yung layo mo. Kailangan equal to like 150 feet, 100 cubits. Kailangan ganun kakalayo kasi feeling nila ililipad yung curse, yung malas, baka dumapo sa iba. Of course, this is a time when they didn't understand about germs yet. They didn't understand about bacteria. They didn't understand about virus. They didn't understand that leprosy is, uh, you know, it's not it's not something that that you can catch so easily like that. But that's what they believed in. That leprosy was a curse. And so, people, lepers couldn't just come as they are. But in their 40-day 40, 40 retreat this Lent, Jesus is telling us, come. Come. Don't mind your sins. Don't mind your sins. Just come. I was in Feast Moa. Sorry, pagod na kayo. <laughs> I was last na last story. This was, I was in Feast Moa last week, and I was gonna preach there, but I came early and I saw the priest. There was a priest outside on the hallway, outside the cinema, and he was almost falling asleep, kasi walang nagkonfess sa kanya. And you know when I saw him, I felt like alam niyo yung nagpunta kayo sa travel fair. Diba, yung nakasale yung mga tickets. Alam niyo yun, diba? Kasi may travel... Alam niyo yung ang haba-haba ng pila sa travel fair, diba? Oras-oras ka mag-aantay para ka lang makakuha ng murang ticket. I felt like I saw a travel fair, piece of fair, tas walang pila. Yun yung feeling ko. Nagdi-dispense ng libreng grace, libreng blessing, tapos walang nakapila. So I took advantage of that and I went and I confess to the priest and I just realized we take so many things for granted we take the confession, sacrament of confession for granted when God is dispensing grace, talo pa ang peace of air talo pa ang libre ticket talo pa ang kung anong blessing na gusto natin 
So Jesus is saying, Jesus is speaking to us this Lenten season. Come as you are. Leprous kaman, you know, you're all muddied and dirty because of your sin. But he just calls us and he draws us closer to himself. Lord, we pray that you may use this season to draw us closer to you and deeper in our knowledge and love for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. As we welcome Randy. Thank you, Risa. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Actually, the term come as you are is kind of parang for me, it's uh, it. I heard the term come as you are, parang kasabay ng smorgasbord. Diba? Before, nung panahon ni nung si Risa, <laughs> ang, ang, ang eat all you can, ang buffet, is called smorgasbord. And um, yung mga ano, yung, yung, yung come as you are, parang luma na rin yan eh. Diba? Parang uh, come as you are. Yung, when, when you say come as you are, it's, it, for me, I, 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 as far as I can remember, when every time we go to a party and the attire na kalagay doon is come as you are, um, it, it would have to be how you want to dress up. You don't have to... Like, it, it's different from a costume party where you have to dress up as, as someone who, who's not you. And uh, come as you are is bring whoever you are. You don't have to, you don't have to dress up for anyone and uh, just just come as you. And uh, um, this is the invitation that uh, our, our Lord is giving us, especially this time of Lent. Um, Quaresma, 40 days. Um, for 40 days, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to meditate on the Word of God. We're going to meditate and uh, we're going to think about and talk about the passion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Risa started uh, um, today's talk with uh, with the story of the leper and uh, the healing continues okay again in mark um we'll, we'll read again jesus was indignant okay jesus was indignant he reached out his hand so the healing na yan, ha? meron lumapit sa kanya sabi lord if you want to heal me you can heal me and jesus maybe saw the condition of the person so jesus was indignant he reached out his hand and touched the man. I'm willing, he said, be clean. I'm willing, be clean. At once, the disease left the man and he was clean. So we're talking about being clean and unclean, okay? Um, with, with that story and maybe with the things that are happening in your life, I came from, uh, I gave a talk in... Uh, our resurrection of our Lord Parish in Paranaque. I just came from there. And uh, when it was time for questions, I, I, uh, someone asked a question. And, and she said, um, I, I was telling them about complaining. And, and she, she told me, she asked, sabi niya, I, I, I complain because of the bad things that are happening in the world. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to, to try hard to see that there are bad things happening in the world. There's abortion, there's... Uh, same-sex marriage and uh, there's killings and and then people are, seem to be um, be people are parang desensitized desensitized and it's really bad and she, she said she was complaining about that and then she asked me why is there so much evil in the world why is there so much evil in the world I told her my principle is if I can do anything about something, I'll do it. If not, it's a fact of life. It's either uh, I, I, I pray for people, it, 
don't believe that you cannot do anything because you can still pray. Never underestimate the power of your prayers. But the question is, why is there so much evil in the world? And why does evil seem more powerful than good? Diba? Why does evil seem more powerful than good? Today, we're faced with all these uh, challenges, Momo challenge. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. ba niya? We seem to be surrounded by evil and parang, parang, even if we try hard, even if we're trying hard, parang the kingdom of God is not advancing. Alright? Parang. Okay? I'll, I'll make that, um, I'll make the illustration more graphic. Okay, can I, can someone help me here? De, meron dapat silang dadalhing mesa eh. Dandali ah. So just, just ano, meron lang akong, ano, alam nyo nung malita ako, gusto kong maging salamangkero. <laughs> gusto kong maging, maging magician. And uh, meron tayong mga salamangka ngayong araw na ito. Um, why is there so much evil? Why? Ayan. Parang magmimisa ulit si Father. <laughs> okay. Thank you, brothers. So, exhibit here, okay? I. Why is there so much evil in this world? And... To, to to illustrate that, I'm going to have all this water here and... Uh, Nox, talagang tinanggal pa yung... Ano, tinanggal yung label para walang ano. Kasi hindi naman sila nagbayad ng advertisement. <laughs> Di ba? Para daw hindi nyo malaman na Pepsi to. So let's call this cup evil. Black. Diba? Black. And if you drink if you drink too much of this, this is also bad for you. Okay? Because of the sugar. Now let's call this glass good. Bakit unfair? Um, why is there so much evil in the world? So you have good people. Good people? Huh? Are there any good people in the room? Huh? Okay. So good people. Influenced by bad people, okay, itong mga bad people, yung mga BI, yung mga ganyan. And, and pareho na, think about, the, think about the leper, okay? The reason why they don't want to come near a, a, a leprous person. Because uh, if, if, if a leper, if a bad person touches an evil person, what happens? What happens? So immediately, the good person becomes tainted, di ba? Yeah, it's tainted. Yeah, it's not tainted, <laughs> but it seems like it's tainted. But it's tainted. The good person is bad right away, diba? How? Why does the bad? Pe why do bad people? Why do the evil stuff have parang so much power over the good stuff? Sino sa inyo will agree with me? Nang hirap pagpakabayek, tasa kamay. Ayaw mong sumigaw, pero na, 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 pinipilit ka ng mga tao sa paligid mo, di ba? Gusto kong bumait, pero di ko magawa. Nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. And, and so, are, are you getting what I'm saying? So, kunyari through Lent, because of what we're doing here, you become clean, okay? You become clean and you... And you try to influence your friends. You're good. Diba? And you have bad friends. How many of you have bad friends? How many of you are seated beside your bad friends? And, and you want to minister and try to minister to them. And you share with them something. Siguro kahit even, kahit pareho na lang nung effort nila in, in, in influencing you in a bad way. So you try to show them and invite them to the feast. And you try to do good to them. What happens? It's unfair. You pour your life into them. You pour the clean water into them. And what happens? They're still? They're still black. They're still dirty. 
why does evil seem to have so much power over evil? So, so Jesus, okay, um, the, the leper said, if you're willing, the leper broke, uh, it's not tradition, what is, what is demanded or, or prescribed by society that you're not supposed to come near a, 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 a non-leprous person. They broke that and they asked Jesus, if you're willing, you can heal me. And then, the, but, but when Jesus touched the leper, okay, so they were afraid that the leper will immediately, upon contact, the leper will infect Jesus, but Jesus is Jesus, and Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Jehovah, Rapha. He is the healer. So when Jesus touched the leper, Jesus didn't become unclean. The leper became clean. But how do you work that out in this situation? Finally, when the leper, when Jesus touched the leper, he did not become unclean. The leper became clean. Good finally overcame evil. But how do you do that? How do you do that? How can you make this clean? Okay. Can you see? So what do you need to do? Drink it? <laughs> it's up to you. Look. If you have Jesus with you, thank you, Celine. Palakpakan natin si Celine. and Jesus touches you, and because Jesus' power, Jesus' mercy and kindness is overflowing and it's bottomless and it's limitless and it's... What is it doing? What is it doing? It's cleaning the water. It's cleaning the water. Finally, good can overcome evil. There's the secret is, we should not rely on our limited goodness. We should not rely on our limited goodness, but rely on the bottomless. Actually, there's a, there's a, there's a fire truck waiting outside in case hindi naubos to. <laughs> hindi naubos ka agad to. And there's limitless supply. Suddenly, the black, the dirty, the evil is now clean. That's what's going to happen. You need to connect to God's eternal goodness. And the invitation is, come as you are. Because God has limitless supply. God has limitless supply. He can, He can, He can. So, so may pag-asa. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo, sabihin mo, may pag-asa ka pa. <laughs> I pray that we, when we start our journey, start our 40-day retreat, I pray that Lent will be revolutionary for us. I pray that for the first time in our life, in your life, in my life, that we, Lent will come and we, Lent will have a new meaning. I pray that this Lent will rock your world. This Lent will rock your world because the more you think about the passion and death of Jesus Christ, the more you understand the love of Jesus Christ, the more you understand the love of God, and the more you understand that love, the more you get empowered to start living it. The talk that I gave in, in, in uh, Paranaque is how to strengthen our Catholic faith. And, and I think it's very important, it's very timely that we're talking about how to strengthen our Catholic faith, especially because it's Lent. And three things, you have, to, you have to learn it, love it, and then live it. You have to learn it, love it, and leave it. So, live it. So, Lent, brothers and sisters, has only one goal. And I think this is the most important thing. Let's keep the main thing the main thing. Lent has one goal. That is to bring us closer to Jesus. To bring us closer to Jesus. So, so at the start of Lent, we're going to give you some tips. Is that okay? I'm going to give you four things that you need to do at the start of Lent. Number one, connect with God daily. March 6, di ba, after ka maglagay. Sino sa inyo yung pag nalagyan ng ganyan? Ay, di ba, yung parang ayaw nyo matanggal yung... Ang katikatin na, ang katikatin na ng naman, ba? 
<laughs> after, after, after doing that, I suggest that every day for the next 40 days after March 6, um, um, you connect with God daily. And the best they say that it takes 21 days to form a habit. And you're going to do this for 40 days. And I pray that it, that it doesn't stop after Easter, you know. It doesn't stop after Easter. So, so connect with God daily. How? We have, we have kerygma books. We have uh, our devotionals. Sometimes it's like being Catholic. Eh? Sometimes we, we take our faith for granted. Because it's there, because we're Catholic. Because pagising mo, Katoliko ka pa rin. Pagising mo, nandiyan simbahan. Pag tumingin ka, pagbalik mo, nandun si padre, nandun yung pare. And we take, it, we take it for granted. Same with the resources that we have in community. I mean, people are dying. Hindi <laughs> naman dying. People are, are, are panicking. And, and, and I, I know because I've seen it in the book fair. People are lining up to buy our devotionals. Eh, pero sa atin, ngayon, hindi nyo napapansin kasi paraging nandyan. And then one day, pag nawala yan, saka lang natin mapapansin. So you can get companion, you can get... And, and this, this, this you can buy. And do you know that if you buy this, you're also helping and supporting our, our ministries. Okay? So, you can do that. Eh kung sino dito kuripot, taas ang kamay. Yung sabi na ng totoo, bawal magsinungaling. Okay? You can, you can download. Did you know that you can download the Feast app? How many of you know that there's a Feast app? Konti lang. Go to, uh, to your Play Store. Go to your uh, App Store. And look for the Feast app. Download new. And you know what you can get there? You can get daily devotion. Uh, the, all your daily reflections. You can get the video. You can get... All the other things because it's a it's a talagang super resource and we're doing everything we can to to make it uh, more accessible. But the thing is, you need to download that. Are you with me? Sino sa inyo may data? Labas niyo mga telepono niyo. Sige sige, wakay mahiya. Pwede pwede pwede. Labas niyo telepono niyo. Go to your Play Store now. <laughs> download it now. Hey. <laughs> Download it now. We're doing everything we can so that our faith... Alam mo, nung panahon ni Risa, <laughs> nung panahon namin ni Risa, hindi ganyan kadali. I mean, walang app noon. ba? Ang alam ko lang app noon, yung papunta doon. <laughs> Corny. <laughs> Corny. Walang app. Okay? That's action number one. Connect with God daily. Daily. All right, because you get a fresh supply of everything that you need. You get a fresh supply of God's faithfulness, God's mercy, God's kindness. Every time you wake up, you get a fresh supply, and you need to connect with Him daily. Number two, action two: watch our watch our forty-day Lenten devotional online. Ah, uh huh? huh? We'll ma we're making this available to you. It's called Tada Embraced, a forty-day online Lenten devotional. What will happen every day? March 6, Easter, uh, um, Ash Wednesday. You go to feast.ph or you go to light, um, Facebook slash Light Fam, our, our, our Light of Jesus Family Facebook page, and you can watch a video daily. And what's there? You, you'll have a reflection question there. You'll have scripture there. And uh, you will have people like, Risa, you're, you have a reflection, diba? Right? You have reflex, uh, reflections from Risa, from Brother Bo, from, from all the different fantastic and awesome builders in Light of Jesus family. And you do it every day. 40-day Lenten uh, devotional. All right? Act are you still with me? Action number three. End each day with profound gratitude. End each day with profound gratitude. I think that the reason why sometimes we, we get out of the cycle of blessing is, is sometimes we fail to see the wonderful things that God is, has done in our lives. Be grateful for all the things that are happening in your life. Be grateful. Um, 
someone said that every single thing that you see in church, and I'll add to that, every little thing that happens to you is about a love story. God's love, God in your love story. God's in your love story. So, so be grateful because when you're grateful, you open yourself up to receiving more blessing. And it, it starts a cycle and it will never stop. The more grateful you become, the more you will see the little things that you need to thank God for. Because I believe that God has given us everything we need. Amen? Wow. May 33 minutes pa ako. Ang aga ni Father natapos. Okay. Did, did you notice dun sa verse na binasa natin, uh, the, the first line there was, G, uh, uh, um, one slide at least, it says, Jesus was indignant. Di ba? Define indignant. What is indignant? Angry na lang. Indignant. He was angry. Okay? But in Mark 1, but in another translation, and, and, and it, within those verses, it also says that Jesus was filled with pity. Jesus was filled with pity. Ano ba talaga? Was he angry? Or was he filled with pity? And scholars would say that um, it was both. Jesus was filled with pity when he saw the man. He was indignant at how society was treating the man. Because Jesus' message ever since, <laughs> from the time he was born, from the time he was born, his message has, already, has always been, come as you are. Come as you are. And he was indignant. He was angry at how they treated people who, who are in that condition. That's why. So he was indignant and he was uh, filled with pity. Because in their society, nung, kasi nung society na yun, pinapartition, partition nila yung ano, yung... yung Meron kang com kino compartment kanila. Nilalagay kanila sa isang compartment depending on what state you're in. Okay? So, in, during, their, in, during their time, in their culture, there were three, ano, three categories. All right? There were people who are always holy. Gagawin natin yan sa feast. So, don't, don't worry. Um, so, there are people, all those who are always holy will sit here. Okay? <laughs> so, that's the first group of people. And these are, these are, those who s looked like or seemed like they're really holy, the 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 priests, the ano tawag sa iba? the Pharisees, yan, yan, they're always holy. So when you're always holy, you stay on this part. Okay, we'll start that next week. Okay. <laughs> now the second <laughs> the second group are the sometimes holy and sometimes unholy. Okay? Ito yung general tao. So, yun, lahat tayo. Sometimes holy, sometimes unholy. But, but didn't you notice that during the days when you feel like you're holy, ang gaang ng feeling? Di ba? Di ba? After a retreat, ang bait-bait mo. Di ba? Pag talagang bagal mo pa maglakad, pag galing ka ng retreat. Pero bigyan mo ng dalawang araw, umuwala na yun. Alright? And then, meron namang isa, yung always unholy. Ito yung mga outcast na always unholy, yung alam mo na walang magagawang mabuti, ito yung mga tax collectors, and they didn't want them to come near uh, uh, a temple. Alright? So, you're still with me? Okay. Now, <clears throat> I want you to understand also that here in the feast, we're family. Okay? Kaya, wag niyong paniwalaan sinabi ko kanina, hindi natin lalagyan yan. Hindi natin lalagyan yan. Kahit alam ko naman ko sino yung mga holy sa inyo at sino yung mga hindi holy. <laughs> um, because we're in the feast, we're, we're a family and we're all recipients of God's mercy. That's why we need to remember. That's why we need to reflect for 40 days. Think and praise it. Think about it and thank God and praise God for, the, um, for His mercy. That in spite of our sins, in spite of our sins, if you only know, if you only, if you only knew my sins, my gosh. Whew. 
if you only, sabi nga nila eh, kung daw yung mga utak natin, ginawang, nilagyan ng projector, project, napoproject ko ano ilaman ng utak ko natin, patay na tayo lahat dito. I mean, <laughs> booking tayo lahat. <laughs> kung pwede lang i-flash dito lahat ng naiisip ng, na, natin lahat, and, and you know, it will be messy. Question, are there people in your life who are like lepers? Are there people in your life who are like lepers? What do you do about them? Especially this Lenten season. Parang lepers. How will you treat them? Will you treat them like lepers? Or... Or will you be like Jesus to them? I pray that we become the feast here in SMORA. We become controversial. Yung talagang magtataka sila, huh, ba't ginagawa yun? Ba't nila ginagawa yun? Um, so we're gonna invite all the lepers and make them come here. And then we will love them. Yung iba para, huh? Huh? Those who are like lepers, okay? But we have a ministry for lepers. Um, it's called uh, um, Hail Mary Foundation for lepers. It's in Abra. We're supporting that. That's a partner organization, and we are helping people who are act, who are really lepers. And, but but I'm talking about people who are like lepers. Let's be controversial. Let's be controversial. I'm. You know, I want to announce something, but hindi na muna hanggang mangyari na lang siya. All right? So are you still with me? Action number three. Um, what's action number three? Huh? And each day with gratitude. Action number four. Bless one person a day. Bless one person a day. Simple lang yan. 40 people. Bless one person a day. Yung kasama ninyo sa bahay, kasambahay ninyo. Pag, ano ba naman gawanin igawanin niyo ng kape and make them feel special for once bless one person yung 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 janitor ninyo sa office alam niyo ba yung pangalan niya hindi lang manong hindi lang manang alam niyo ba pangalan niya pati apelyido bless one person a day yung security guard kahit masungit di ba yung nagsiserox kahit masungit Bless one person a day. Can we commit to that? That starting March 6, actually you can start tonight. Bless one person a day. Bless one person. Lahat kayo. <laughs> Lahat kayo. Bless one person. Pakainin nyo. Sa, ano yun? Dynasty. Ano yun? Bless one person. Okay? Start tonight. <laughs> I pray that our Lent, the way we, we commemorate and the way we go through the Lenten season this year will be really, really different. And uh, I pray that it will just free us. It's, it, Lent is not designed to make us sad. Because I've no, I know a lot of people who, who are quiet, who are sad, who, uh, who are quiet, who are parang... Uh, pious, but they're not. They're not really. They're not really um, following Jesus. I pray that this will um, revolutionize our relationship with Lord. Can I? Can I just go back and illustrate to you? Um, yung sinasabi na, na, na leper, because at one point, at one point in our lives, you know, we've all been lepers. Amen. And uh, it was, it was decreed before that you know, sabi ni Risa, that you have to be 150 feet, 150 feet away. And and we we did some calculation, and uh, you know, 40 large strides will um, will will be 150 feet. So um, let let's say this is the center. 
this is the center of activity sa sa o, sa, sa sa society ito yung ito yung ito yung center ng commerce and everything and and um, we we go down so 150 feet ano yun may natanggal na siper ano yun yan <laughs> okay so that's one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. If you're sick, if you're sick and if you're like a leper, you have to be this far from the center. You have to be this far so that you will not infect anyone. But as we already said, the invitation of Jesus is come as you are. But many times we feel like we're dirty and we don't, we don't, we don't feel like going to Jesus because we're dirty and because we we're bothered because we um, we we remember the bad things that we've done and when we feel many times we feel that we're unworthy. Have you heard? Have you heard of? You know? Have you heard people say? Tsaka na lang ako pupunta dyan pag ready na ako kasi hindi pa ako ready talaga. Pupunta na lang ako dyan kasi I cannot commit to. To, to stop smoking or I cannot commit to, to not do this anymore dahil, dahil hindi pa namin kaya, hindi ko pa kaya and I'm, I'm, going, I'm going when I'm ready. But the invitation is always come as you are. Come as you are. This Lenten season, brothers and sisters, I pray that, that we will... We will set aside every negative feeling about this and we will just begin to trust the Lord. That when Jesus said, come as you are, when Jesus said, come, when Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 28, that come to me, all you who are heavily burdened, all you who find life burdensome, come to me, for I am humble and I am meek and humble of heart. But that invitation is something that we take seriously. And, and there will be struggles. There will be struggles. But we're going to try to do it. So we're going to go 40. We're going to go 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34. Look around you, are there people walking with you? 33, 32, 31. They say I'm bad, but it's, it's, it's Jesus said, come as you are. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. I'm going to do this, Lord. I'm going to come to you. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave everything behind. I'm going to trust you. Ilana tayo. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Lord, my friends are not with me. I'm all alone, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go because I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on my relationship with you. Because one thing that we want to happen during Lent is that we will establish and we will strengthen and, and fortify our relationship with Jesus. 19, 18, 17. 16. It's a struggle. 15, 14. Lord, ang hirap eh. Um, wag na lang kaya. Balik na lang ulit ako. It was, it's, it's easier. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Now you can see Jesus. Now you can see Him clearer and larger um, than when you were there. At least your vision is better here than there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. Till finally you've come home. Finally you've come home. We're gonna we're gonna walk back and we're gonna approach Jesus. And can can we make an agreement? Can we have an agreement? We're gonna do this together. Amen. Can you hold the hand of the person beside you? Okay, can you hold the hand of the person? Um, can you tell that person, let's do this together? Can I ask you something? At the end of this Lenten season on Easter Sunday or the Saturday after Easter Sunday, I want you to make sure that the person you're sitting beside right now will still be there. Okay? I want you to commit to each other. Okay? Exchange numbers. I'm, I'm serious. Exchange numbers and tell that person, I'm going to make sure that you're still here after the 40 days. Okay? Exchange numbers. Kung, kung, kung maganda siya o crush niyo siya, sige, lalo niya, now's your, now's your chance. Can I invite you to stand, everyone? We're going to pray. We're going to consecrate our 40-day Lenten retreat to you. Here's something about consecrating something. We're not just going to pray. We're going to consecrate. And, and when we talk about consecration, you're talking about making it sacred making this 40-day retreat sacred. And I want you to, to really make it sacred, okay? Um, as much as possible, let's, let's do that 40 days religiously, okay? We're going to consecrate that and we're going to trust God to bless that because anything you consecrate to the Lord, He will bless. Amen? So can you join me? We have a prayer here um, together. We're going to flash it on the screen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Together, Lord, I consecrate my 40-day Lenten retreat to You. My goal is to grow closer to You, to take each step towards You. I won't hide. I won't pretend. I'll come as I am. I'll show You my mess. You'll show me Your mercy. On my own, I can't fix me. But I know your spirit can. For the next 40 days, work in me. In Jesus' name, saints of heaven, pray for my 40-day Lenten retreat. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's continue to worship the Lord and continue to give Him our 40 days.
chains are gone. My debt is paid from death to life and grace to grace. We sing it out tonight. Come on. If heaven now won't step in, how great is the hope? Come on. How great is the hope that lives in you? The passion that tore through hell like a rose. Come on, this is what we believe. Come on. Promise their roll back and then it's done. If freedom, if freedom is worth the life you raise. Oh, 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 where is my sin? Where is my shame? Hallelujah, come on, sing it out. If love bid it all to have my Lift it up. How glorious my Savior's God. Victorious my chains are gone. My dead is paid from death to your grace Jesus we come as we are God Amen when I see that cross I see freedom when I see that grave I'll see Jesus from death to life I will sing your praise in the wonder of your grace when i see that cross i see freedom. come on sing it loud when i see that grave i see jesus and from death to life i will sing your praise in the world come on sing it out when i see that cross i see freedom when i see that grave i see jesus from death to life i will sing your praise in the world Come on, sing it out. When I see that cross, I see freedom. When I see that grave, I see Jesus. From death to life, I will see you praise. In the wonder of your grace, I'm a soul to sing your praise. In the wonder of your grace, I'm a soul to sing your praise. Come on, sing it out. Sing it out. How glorious my Savior's God, victorious, my chains are gone, my dead is paid, death to life, and grace. Give you praise, Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross for us, for us, God. And thank you for giving us the freedom that only you can give, Lord. And thank you for giving us peace.
that transcends all understanding, God. And so, Father, tonight we come as we are, God. We are sinful. We're not worthy. We think we are undeserving. But we, because, because you died on the cross, we are made righteous in your name, God. So we thank you for your grace. Everything is all about your grace. Everything is your grace. And so we thank you, Jesus, tonight. We declare freedom. We declare healing. We declare forgiveness, God. In the power of your name, we are forgiven. We are set free. And so we thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory and praise. You're so wonderful. You are powerful. And in the power of your cross, we are forgiven and healed. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, we sing it out together. When we see that cross, come on, sing it out. Oh, when I see that cross, I see freedom. When I see that grave, I see Jesus. Come back to life, I will see you praise. The new world, come on. When I see that cross, I see freedom. When I see that grave, I see Jesus. this place with worship how wonderful come on how glorious my Savior's God victorious my days are done my days paid from death to life come on one more time we sing much evil in the world but the good news is as followers of Jesus the darker the world gets the brighter we should shine our light the darker it gets the brighter we should shine our light and and it, we're, we're gonna do this because we're gonna be serious about following Jesus amen Join us for 40 days, Lenten, uh, until until Easter Sunday, and uh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please be seated, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're gonna get ready to uh, receive our offering. I wanna I wanna thank you for. Uh, your, your offering and uh, yeah we're, we're, we're here kita nyo naman meron pa ring LED for a while for a while there baka next week kalahati na lang yan kasi <laughs> yung kaya natin bayaran okay so wag kayo mag, mag kayo matakot pag maging ano yan maging ano tawag doon maging 16 by 9 yung ano maging letterbox yung HD na manipis lang ganun kasi ibababa natin so whatever but I want to thank you because you're, you've been very generous and I, I encourage you to continue to give to God um, I just want to read to you um, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 22 it, it, it says something and he put all things in every realm 
in subjection under Christ's feet. Okay? He put all things in every realm, kasama, in subjection under Christ's feet, and appointed Him as supreme and authoritative head over all things in the church. So, every time you give, every time you offer anything, you're, you're putting it, you're subjecting it under Christ's feet. And uh, Christ was appointed supreme and authoritative head over all the church. And when you do that, when you give, when you make it sub subject under Christ's feet, that tells God how much you love Him and that tells God how much you're willing to go, how, how far you're willing to go. Okay? So give God your best every time. Every time. Amen? While you're praying to God how much He wants you to give, I'm gonna rattle off some announcements. Um, venue. Please stand by. Um, remember, how many of you remember 14 squares last year? We went, we had 14 squares in Uptown where we put the stations of the cross in the mall. Um, we're, we're planning to do something like that. Please continue to pray. We're going to meet with the different malls this week so where we can put that. Okay? So something like that. I want to welcome those who are here for the first time. If you're here for the first time, please stand. Please stand if you're here for the first time. We want to pray for you. We just want to know you. Please stand. Don't be shy. There you go. We just want to bless you. And uh, yeah, can you extend your hands towards those who are here for the first time? Lord, we want to thank you for our friends, our brothers and sisters. Lord, we pray that you bless them this coming week. Um, yeah, and just embrace them, Lord God. And Remind them, Lord, how loved they are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. If you're free, please come over here later after. We're going to give you a welcome gift, okay? For the single people, single people, Love Life Retreat, Batch 19, happening on April 13 and 14 at the Mary Hill Retreat House in Taitai Rizal, Okay? April 13, 14, um, ask around. Madami na sa Makati nagkaroon ng love life after this. Tsaka ngayon, happily married na sila. I'm not saying na pag nag-attend ka, magkaka-love life ka. I'm saying pag uh, nag-attend ka, the Lord, you, you will just come to love the Lord in a deeper way. And uh, yeah, and then bonus na lang yun. Alright? Camp Kalye Unafraid. Um, Camp Kalye Unafraid. So, if you are young, go to the table outside and sign up. Uh, it's our yearly camp. Okay? Reminding you on May 17, May 17, the, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary at the Circuit Makati Activity Center. May 17, 2019. Um, yeah, 10th year anniversary. It will fuel the fire in your soul. Okay, light groups. We invite you to be part of a light group. Life, light group is where you do life together. Bitin talaga pag ano. This is not where you're gonna grow. Are you listening to me? This is not where you're gonna grow. You're gonna come here, you're gonna be encouraged. Every time we come, we just remind each other that there's a world out there, there's a mission field out there but the real growth and discipleship happens in the light groups so we need you to be plugged into a light group if you're not yet part of a light group um, just look at the sheets that are uh, inserted in the bulletins and be part of a light group okay you need to be part of a small group a light group so yeah if you have any more questions approach any of the servants Ask them about your light groups. Okay? There's a table outside also for that. If you need someone to pray for you, go to the back. We're going to pray for you. And we're inviting everyone to be part of our ministries. If you know how to sing or play an instrument, please talk to these guys. If you know how to say hi, hello, talk to the people welcoming you outside. 
um, sign up for service. Okay? Uh, we're uh, we're on social media, Facebook, uh, the Feast SMORA, Instagram, Feast SMORA, and we have a playlist on uh, Spotify. Just look for Feast Aura. Next week, we're gonna... Do we have a video? Yeah, next week, we're gonna start a new series. It's, it's about nation building. It's about loving our country. And uh, please watch this video. Nag-iiba yung boses niya. Kaninong laptop yan? Ha? Sa atin? Ha? Bumili ka nga ng dalawa. <laughs> Hindi na bagay. Yaka LED tapos ma. Isipin nyo, di ba? Brothers and sisters, God loves you. Can I ask you to stand? Please, uh, please join us in thanking God for answering our prayers and hearing our prayer requests. Can you extend your hands to, towards the screen? Lord, we lift up to you uh, all these prayers. A prayer for grace and guidance to continue a career. Um, wow. To be praying that the youth of FF Feast SMR will have a permanent venue. Uh, that's, that's nice. Praying that the bank approves our loan request for our new home. ML, I pray, Lord God, for all the prayers that are unwritten, that remain in the hearts of my brothers and sisters. We pray, Lord God, that you answer them for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's continue to thank God for Thanksgiving prayers. Thank you, Lord, for the past, for uh, the daughter of Belba Cruz passed the physician board exams. Thank you for, um, yeah, praying for four years, giving for giving the Miss M's the chance to be part of a high quality company. Thank you for slowly making my parents fall in love with each other again. Wow. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we thank you. We pray, we lift up to you all uh, the, the prayers that have been answered also, Lord. We just lift up to you a song of gratitude, a song of praise, because you are a faithful God. Can I ask you to lift up your, your, your offerings? Father, I pray for all those who are going to offer. Pray that you just touch my brothers and sisters and that you continue to bless them, Lord God, for allowing themselves to be used for your glory, for your ministry, for your work. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I'm going to ask you to give your offerings and then stay. You can fellowship. There's free coffee after the feast. And uh, join us in closing, in our closing worship. Amen.
you, Jesus. We give you all the glory and praise as we say, Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. See you next Saturday. God bless you.